so in sync. So in sync. Hello. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 indeed. It's it's or, the end of game. Or hello hello hello. Um Oop. yeah, it's uh it's the end of game, but it's the beginning of this episode. It's this uh, is only the beginning. We're playing Golf Peaks. Uh it's Golf May here it is. at PMC, the headquarters of PMC. Um We're golfing all month long. We're golfing, and uh, this is a pretty cool game that I found a while ago that I've been playing, or that I played a while back, um, but I had never finished and never actually. What is it, Connor? Beat, I've never beat the entire game. Didn't I say that? It's Golf Peaks. But yeah, but like, what is the what is the game? <laughs> uh, I'll I'll show you one of the. Oh no! Oh, oh no, no, no! No no no! Oh no 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 no! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 um, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll show you the um, one of the easier levels. All right. It's one of the first ones. Uh, you're given cards at the bottom. Okay. And you can switch between them with your ZL and ZR. And in order to move around, you have to choose your path like this. Okay. Um, and then you choose the right one. You click it and... It's you're like using your cards to get to the hole. Hmm. Uh, so if it says one and it has the arrow, it means that you're going to hit it along the ground. Um, and you're just pretty much in that one. You're just following the path. Same here. If you hit it too hard, if I have a three and a one, but I only need to go two, that just means I hit three. It's going to go over it. And then I have to go back one oh, and I'm in. So these are just like the first world levels, and um, this is this is a little fun one. Yeah, Yay, it's just going downhill. downhill yeah. So the easy the the levels here are um, somewhat easy. So that's why I'm just showing you how it works because uh, I, like I said, have never finished the game fully, which sucks. Um, it sucks to find out right now. Ah. Um, well. So we're going to watch me get frustrated at the last two levels. You can see there are a shit ton. There are 120. Oh my I God. have finished 118. Oh, wow. uh, the last. So it gets pretty intense, and this is the one I'm on right now. All right. Well. Let the we let got, the games begin. We got a couple, we got uh, some ones, we got a two, we got a three, a five, and then two hoppies. I can jump over uh, certain things. Two the hoppies. red, the reds here are um, slick boys. They're like ice. If I hit onto them, they'll just kind of, there's no, there's, uh, they won't stop. So I'll just slide. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to work backwards here because see where the hole is and you think it looks like i don't know you need more than the amount of cards that i have here but yeah obviously you can make it i just i just need to find out how um need to get yourself a slidey yeah a slidey path to victory and there's only certain amount of ways i can start this and i can go back if i fuck up i can just go back and i can i can redo so it shouldn't be too frustrating to to restart um, the only two ways I can really go would be like this, would be jumping over there, or like the way I did the first time, which is just that. Oh. And that's using the ones, because if I use a two, I'm still going to end up there just because that is two spaces. Mm. But if I use a three, I'm still at the same spot that I was before, but I don't want to do that. I think I need that three for later, so. Makes sense. We are going to... And I don't know if I want to use my jump right off the bat. If I jump here, then I'm just going to hit the same thing. So that's a waste. Um, How logical. But if we, if we look at the end, I know I'm just going to have to, I don't know, hit it for, if I get to the white space. So there's only one way to get to the hole at the end. There's no real way I can go around it in a different fashion. Um... So do so you just always gonna, have to, like, be on par shit. for every level? 
basically? You will always, I, I believe you always use every card. So you do have to, you, it has to be exact, especially for these That's final kinda cool. levels. Yeah. One um, solution. Yeah. So that's incorrect. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be hopefully entertaining to watch me go slowly insane. Um, See, you're up the, the correct path. If you do this the first try, you're going to laugh. I certainly won't, uh, because I already fucked up. So back to the beginning we go. Um, <laughs> so how have you been? Uh, I've been fine. I've been hanging out. I've been um, getting really into uh, building like model robots, Gundams, mm -hmm. uh, which I told you about when I got my first one. Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. I, I figured yeah. Out, once you pop, you can't stop. Once you pop, you really can't stop. Um, my first one took me like three hours, and I made a little guy, and then I was like, "Cool, now I have this little guy." Um, <laughs> and so I have a I have a, a couple more now uh, to to keep me occupied because they're nice. relatively inexpensive, and you really only need a pair of these these little clipper things to clip them out. Uh, the hobby itself is called gunpla, gun gunplay. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it. Gunplay. I've, I've only ever seen it written. Um, Ooh. But it's yeah. The the it's the kits have little little. Uh, they they just come in like sheets of pieces that are all on like runners, and then you clip out the pieces and you follow the instructions like a Lego. And you put them together. Damn. We got Kit Kit Ridge over here. Yeah. Pretty great. But, Remember uh, her? Vaguely. Yeah, I oh, don't know her. Go. Never met her. Don't Never know met her. Is. Never gonna. Yep. Okay, so as we can see, I'm somewhat closer. Because this is exactly where I want to be. I need to be at this white space. Because if I'm here, uh -huh. I can go. I can go, I can get here, and then I have to go one to the right, one to the right, one up, one to the left, one up, and then I'm in. So, restart. All right. Um, I don't know if it's better to just go fast with this and just be like, all right, that didn't work. Okay, this didn't work. <laughs> Throwing stuff at the wall. Yeah. That's what we do in gay. We throw things at the wall. We we sh we throw our shit at the wall. Yeah. I saw Looney Tunes, the new Space Jam movie last night. Oh, how was that? I haven't seen it yet. Fucking awful. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Wait, did I just figure this out? Oop. No! Oh! Um. Wait a minute. Oh my freaking god. Wait a second. No. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, fuck. Oh, shucks. Back. Oh, you're kidding me. What do I need then? If I can't do that... Is it a threefer? Do I do with the threefer and then the twofer? Well, maybe. No, that doesn't make sense. Um, do I do the twofer? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, nope. Do I do the twofer? And then the closer. one fur? No, because that's the same place I was before. Oh, no. Oh, frick me, dude. Freaking all right, so Space Jam, uh, fucking awful. Um, that came out a while ago. Yeah, uh, I watched it last night with a buddy because we just we we've been catching up on the shit movies that have come out uh, in the past couple years. Um, we watched Dumb and Dumber two uh, prior to that the other night. Oh, fun! Uh, and that was that was also just a sad watch. It was better than this. It wasn't as 
as uh, atrocious, but mm. um, God, the jokes in this one, I don't even know if you can call them jokes. And I don't know why we gave LeBron such a big part in this movie, but he just, he comes across as such an asshole. <laughs> like, they, the, they, as much as they wrote about LeBron being like, He's so talented, and he's such a skilled player and an entrepreneur and a family man. Like, he comes across as, like, basketball is the only thing that ever exists ever. Why does my son not like basketball? That's not cool. It's like, dude, he has other interests. And I get that's, like, the the whole thing that we as the audience have to be like, oh, LeBron's learning to love. But it's... It, it, just, it was just stupid. The whole thing was like, it, it felt the jokes were stale even like today. Like, I, I can't imagine how they were when they came out. Probably not great, is my guess. Yeah, I remember hearing bad things about it, but I didn't know to what extent that really went. So, that's fair. I don't yeah. know. I just think it's weird that, like, like with the space jam movies both of them feature like very real human beings like that are just playing themselves so it's like like oh lebron's learning to love oh you mean like real human being lebron james yeah yeah no, it does it it does feel that way reminds me of um like a, a more real version of the uh like the, those fucking Dwayne Johnson movies where he's like the football player and is it, is it the f- game plan? The game plan, yes. The game I was talking plan. about that yesterday. That's funny that you bring that up. <laughs> I I liked that movie a lot when I was a kid. I haven't seen it in years, but I remember enjoying it. Yeah, I I don't think I ever saw that movie all the way through, but it did see... I mean, that's the thing about Dwayne Johnson versus these other guys, is, like, at least he can act. Yeah. But you you take a you take a, an athlete like LeBron or, or Michael Jordan... Michael Jordan was fine, but the, the plot was also completely different, and the, uh, the plot in this one just seemed so... Heavy-handed. Trite, yeah, and, and like... I don't know, Don Cheadle is the villain. That's right. And he overacts that. and kind of underacts at the same time. Like, I don't know. It, it, or I think only the underacting comes from the, the writing not being good at all. So as good as he is trying to make it, it's just not working in his favor. Yeah. Well, at least he tried. It's more than can be yeah. said for some people. Yeah. You know they were getting money. Oh, absolutely. Also, Stephen Ewan was in it. Oh, really? For like a second. He was in one scene. What? Him and Sarah Silverman. Oh. Why? I don't know. I, they must have been getting good money for it. I, like, yeah. that's all I can think. Maybe just like Warner Brothers had them on retainer and was like, hey, you have to be in this movie. You have to. Yeah. Get, get in here. Get in it. Get in the Space Jam. Come on and slam. Oh, yeah. I don't even think they played that song. Oh, wait. I forgot really? it existed because of how... Uh, because, yeah, it's really... It was not played. Oh, my God. I think I did it. Wait nice. a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! Yeah! Oh, just freaked the fuck out of my cat. <laughs> Damn, we're in the last. Oh one. my god, it's the final level. The final level. Oh shit! This is the fastest shit. we've ever finished a game. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> you should call this Golf Peaks finale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the finale. Confuse, confuse people who are just joining, and then like, like wait, wait, did I miss? Did I miss the first twelve episodes? Where's the rest of the series? Um. Did they play this? So one? we have a lot here. We have we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. All right. And we got moving platforms, and we got holes that lead to other holes. So, but where's the last one? Which one is the real hole? I guess I that's don't what you know. have to determine. I'm, I guess there are six of them. So maybe I have to go through each one to get it. 
All right, well, I got to use a jumpy to get out of here, so. Um, either way, either way, I'm going to end up, like, here. Yeah. And, uh, let me, let's just get to one of these jumpies. Um, I guess I got to use a twofer to get out of here. A twofer, Grace. Boom, blaps. Uh, oh, wait a second. A two for grace, yeah. Oh, I gotta go to the other side first to start this. Okay, so we're gonna re restart. Let's jump on out this way. Sorry, there's some Split some one. of those those jumpies are like jumpy and then rolly. Yes. Okay. It's a new yeah. mechanic. Yeah. So if I if I use a jumpy and rolly, I can get over that one and just start over here. But that doesn't really help because I don't want to... I need to get... How am I going to get to the top? I don't want to get to the top top first, but... So I can't use a jumpy and rolly out of here because... Oh, wait, I can't. But it would make no sense just because I can still do the same thing and just end up there. Can you jump um, onto, like, that diagonal one backwards? Onto that, like, red ice? And then climb to the top? So... E uh, to the top, like what this way? You're saying you're saying go up to here? Yeah, like from the beginning. Um, oh, from like no, because I can only go in the four oh, directions okay. this way, and I so see. they're all pushing me outward. Um, which is why I feel like I need to get to one of the ones down here first, but I truly can't see. Okay, I can't do that. If I use the two, I'm going there, but there's no way I can get to the top. All right, so I also have a, a, a jumpy and a twofer. A jumpy and a the twofer. Same, in the same one. Do you maybe need to utilize the, like, the red ice? Not here, only because if I go on the red ice, I just fall off the oh. world. Yeah. I thought maybe it stopped you. <laughs> so that's more of a hazard. No, yeah, it is. It's ice in the original sense. I see. Ice. Yeah, it is. Mm. I, I I see. I see. I, <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, I watched a movie. Haha! Ha, very funny, Mark. <laughs> what a crazy story, Mark. What um, a crazy story, Mark. <laughs> the only time I've ever watched that movie, I was like in high school, homesick. And uh, I was just like laying in bed all day, and I was like, I'm gonna watch The Room. <laughs> it's like yeah. one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> it's very funny though. Um, yeah, it is. It is one of the worst things you'll see, but it is also one of the best worst things you'll see. It is true. It's better than Space Jam: A New Legacy. Yeah. Well, good to tell know. you that much. I'll remember that going in. But the movie that I watched was uh, The Zone of Interest. Was... Oh, so funny. <laughs> what a hilarious movie. No. Um... Probably funnier than Space Jam and New Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting one. I don't think we're probably ever going to talk about it on Cinema Talk, so I don't really mind sharing my thoughts about it here. Um, I understand like what it was trying to do. With, like, the idea of, like, oh, here's, like, glimpses of a normal life, but in the background is this, like, you know, these horrible atrocities. Um, and, and I called immediately. I, I hadn't heard anything about the movie, but as soon as I figured out what it was about, I was like, we're never going inside of of the camp. Like, we, we're mm -hmm. never going to see inside it, the whole movie. Um, but, like, I, I don't know. Do, have you seen the movie? Yes. I, like, I, I understand that, like having everything be in wide shots was very intentional but like it made it hard for me to focus on the movie sometimes because i was like i'm looking at a wide shot i'm trying to take in everything and i'm also reading the subtitles because i don't speak german like i don't know it, it, it just made it like a little a little bit of a more difficult watch for me um yeah i don't know i i didn't really i didn't take um harshly to it i i i really enjoyed the ending yeah i can say that's one thing that stuck with me was was that part 
Where they're um, just like cleaning the the museum. Yeah. Yeah. Spoilers, I guess, for Zone of Interest. You should have seen it. You should have been there. You should have seen you it. You should have been there. So funny. <laughs> Comedy of the year. Um, this is very, a very dour movie. Um, understandably so. And uh, not really a, a singular likable character in the entire thing. It's always always an interesting experience when you're just like, wow, you're all awful. And you haven't seen Anatomy of a Fall yet? I have not. Even though I told you to watch that and you uh, just completely ignored I me. I didn't ignore you. <laughs> I was going to, if I was watching it on my own, I was going to watch Anatomy of a Fall. But one of my friends that I had been talking about watching Poor Things with was like, hey, do you want to watch Poor Things tonight? And I was like, all right, I'll watch Poor Things. Yeah, just keep, just keep putting it off, I guess. I'll get around to it. I'm, I'm, it may not be clear from our conversation. I'm going back and watching all of the, the best picture noms that I missed from this past year, uh, which was basically all of them. Cause I had, I had only gotten to see, cause usually like when we're, usually when I go to see like movies for the most part, it's because we're like talking about them on the podcast and not just ones yeah. that I think are interesting. Um, because a lot of the time I'm just like, well, I could go to the theater or I could just stay home. But since we were doing the podcast again, I went and we had Barbie and Oppenheimer on the schedule. So I went and did the Barbenheimer thing, which I feel like we've talked about on the show before. Because um, I didn't end up actually going to both on the same day because my Barbie viewing experience was just so fucking bad. Um, I do remember that, yeah. Yeah. Um, but... Those were the only two I saw was was Barbie and Oppenheimer. And then I was just either like busy and never got around to seeing the rest in theaters or, or like didn't have any desire to see them or didn't know about them. Um, and so I was just sort of like left out in the cold. But now I've seen I've seen five of them, five of them. So got another five to go. I'm catching up. Yeah, I, uh, I still got to see Maestro. Oh yeah, I I think I might watch that one last. It's yeah, either that or Killers of the Fire Moon. I'm, just because I'm not mad that I have to watch it last, but yeah. <laughs> just to to round out the ten. Yeah, it's just I don't know. Everything that I've heard about it is that it's it's just not a good movie. Oh, I meant to say the reason I bring up Anatomy of a Fall was because the same woman who is in Zone of Interest is the main character in Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, so she was in both. Yeah. <laughs> she was in oh, both. God. And she, yeah, so no, she's she's fucking good. Yeah. I don't remember her name because it is something foreign that I have not learned. Something, something German, Polish, whatever. Well, this sucks. Um, I am stuck. <laughs> you go. I don't know how to get to one of these special holes you here. Did one. I. Huh? I said you did one. No, I didn't. Oh, I did one. I did one hole. Yeah, I. I. I'm talking this level. I have not been able to figure out how to get to the, like, to either of these to any of these like holes just to to play into yeah yeah it's it's a weird no 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 oh god oh, just, just get me out of here okay i'm up Somebody here get me out of here do, 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 do. i can jump can jump and get to here. This is the best I've done, but I can't get anywhere else. Oh, uh, unless unless I just drop down because I wanted to be here. Do I have to? Do I have to just do this? Nope. Maybe. Uh, where is this gonna? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Scrolling. No! 
<laughs> Skloink gloink. The gloinkster. The gloinkster returns. No, wait. I'm nowhere. I can't go anywhere now. No. <laughs> what? I need to, oh, oh, bummer. All right, well, all right. This shows that we have made progress. Um, now I just need to find a better way to do exactly that again. All right, so I gotta get to, wait, but I went through each one. Where is the, where is the flag? All right, well, you figure this out. Here's a story from Malicious Compliance. Some... Oh, right. We, four of us, played golf this morning. Things get busy this time of year, so the course is pretty well booked solid. There were a number of force, there were a number of foursome in front of us, but right in Hell front yeah. of us was a uh, was just a single player by himself. By the time we got to the third hole, we caught up with him, and the five of us were waiting on the the group in front of him. Instead of just following behind him, we offered to have him join us and play as a fivesome. Now, most golf courses don't allow five balls because they tend to slow things down, but we were already waiting on the group ahead of us anyway, and no one was moving too quickly. So we were playing and keeping up with the group ahead of us until we got to the eighth hole. Suddenly, the course marshal pulls up and said that there was a complaint that there was a fivesome on the course, which isn't allowed. Not a fivesome on the course. We explained what had happened, that we were keeping up Hell with the groups yeah. ahead, but we were told that it wasn't allowed. Cue the malicious compliance. We sent the single player ahead by himself and told him to take his time. We had already been waiting 10 minutes on the group in front of us. Now we waited another 10 minutes for him to complete the hole. It was a par three and you can't <coughs> hit until the group ahead leaves the green. By the time there were two more foursome, uh, by, the, by this time there were two more foursomes lined up behind us on the eighth tee. We played the rest of the course at our normal speed and finished in under four hours, which is faster than required. But by the time we finished, the whole course was half an hour behind schedule. Got him. Oh, boo hoo. Got him. Is that the end of the story? That's that's the end of the story. Malicious compliance. Um. What what's the problem there? They so they were behind schedule and that's it. Yeah. That they wanted that to happen. Yeah, they wanted that to happen because they wanted to maliciously comply. All right. Well, here's here's an am I the asshole? <laughs> am I the asshole for breaking up with my girlfriend because she wouldn't let me buy new golf clubs? I was with my ex-girlfriend. Nut. She wouldn't let me nut or buy new golf clubs. I was with my ex-girlfriend for a little, a little over two years now. We've had disagreements here and there, but nothing as big or as stupid as this. We've been talking about getting married and buying a house for maybe six months so uh, now, so we've been saving. Currently, I have about $145,000 saved, not including my retirement or investments, and she has about $23,000 saved. My plan was to use... Uh, to use from my money ninety thousand dollars for all housing costs down payment closing moving furniture thirty thousand for a wedding and twenty thousand uh twenty five thousand dollars for an emergency uh, fund i never really discussed with her how we'd allocate her money anyway over the past maybe month or so i've been thinking about buying a new set of golf clubs i've been using the same cheap beginner set that i got three years ago for four hundred dollars beginner <laughs> Uh, the plan was to get 2022-2023 uh, model clubs this winter since they'll be a bit cheaper with the new 2024 models coming out. I budgeted about $2,600 for a new set and about $200 for a fitting. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how much golf clubs cost? Well, my ex-girlfriend has been furious about this and she has been on my ass ever since I brought it up. She asked me to show her my savings account multiple times to see that I'm still depositing into it. And anytime she sees me on a golf club, uh, on a golf website, she tells me I'm not buying clubs, so close the website. She's even taken a picture of my current club so she can check that I don't come home with new ones every time I go out to play. Her logic is that if I spent the money on the new clubs, it would set the wedding and home purchase back, even though I have about six times more than her saved. The breaking point for me was a couple days ago. She wanted to go to Target to get fall decor for the condo we're renting, and I walked over to the Golf Galaxy that was a couple stores down while she did her thing. I wanted to demo a few clubs that I was looking at uh, and talk to them about the turnaround time from uh, the club fitting to receiving the gloves. I was there for about 45 minutes, and she texted me she was done to see where I was. I told her I was just finishing up, and we can walk down there, and I'll be right out. She blew up a minute, again, demanding to check all my bank and credit card accounts, was telling me I don't care about our relationship and our future, that I'm being selfish, and I'm not taking her opinion into account when we got home i told her that i'll either pay for the remainder of the lease in full and she can leave or i'll find someone to sublet and that we're done 
I packed oh, shit. about a week's worth of clothes, my golf stuff, so she didn't do anything to it. And I've been staying at my parents' house until she gives me her decision. In the meantime, all her friends have been texting me that I'm an asshole, never cared about her, I'm selfish, etc. I haven't replied to them, and the only communication I've had with my ex is that I need her decision regarding the apartment soon. Am I the asshole? So he broke up with her because of golf? Because of golf. Well, not really because of golf. <laughs> <laughs> um, more so that because she was like trying to control his expenses when he had $145,000 saved and she only had $20,000 saved. And she was complaining about him wanting to buy golf clubs. So he was yeah. like... All right, I'm Audi 5000. Huh. I don't think he, people, he's people the People with money are weird. They are weird. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that, like, that's a lot of money for golf clubs. But then again, like, I spend a lot of money on my hobbies, you know? Like, we spend a lot of money just to make this Gunplay. show. play. <laughs> well, not even, not even just the gunplay. But, like... You know, like buying video games so that we can play them on the show and shit like that. So, you know, I don't know a lot about a lot of money though. I we this uh, the last game I spent money on was two dollars. So that's fair. <laughs> I mean, pretty much all of the games we played this month have been free Peek or things behind we the curtain. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you can go play them too because they're free. Um, but you know, every now and then, like. I don't know. Like, but like we, you know, we put money into our hobbies. Like you have your DVD collection. I have a video game collection and shit like that. And no. Yeah. If somebody told me, if somebody told me what to like, how I, I wasn't allowed money. to spend money on, on DVDs, then there'd be a problem. Cause I spent, uh, just yesterday I spent, I want to say $40 on new DVDs. Nice. <laughs> yesterday i spent 40 dollars on new robots yay, yay we're all spending 40 dollars on our hobbies Hooray. i will say that like i mean and, and i don't know how much like a good set of golf clubs costs like if it is actually 2600 dollars, because if so that's insane like i shouldn't be able to buy like a used car for the amount that your golf clubs cost um or pay yeah. pay like over a month's rent like that's insane um yeah but but it sounds like he fucking has the money and like he's budgeted all this shit and it, you know if she only has twenty thousand dollars and he hasn't even like had to take into account like what they're going to do with her money like it's not like he's spending her money like yeah i don't know i think i, think I don't know if they're not together yet and they haven't like put all their they pooled all their money or whatever married people do yeah a joint like, account it's still it's still his money like i don't i don't see yeah i can understand the frustration i just maybe think going as far as to say like we are done because of this might be a step too far i don't know i mean i think that potentially it's not just given that like i, I like i feel like she really showed her hand with that it's like you know she's she just seems really manipulative, right? Like uh -huh. she's like, "Oh, like you're I need to control your finances and you can't spend money on your hobby um because I want like I I want a, a lavish wedding and and a, a big house or whatever, a $90,000 house." And it's like he's still allocating those funds. Like he still very clearly has enough money to do all of those things, but like yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a weird situation. I think that less so less so about the golf and about like because it was like like if he was constantly buying new golf clubs, I think it would be a, like a different story. You know, if she uh -huh. was like, dude, st you got to stop buying a new golf club every two like a new set of golf clubs every two week uh, two weeks. You're you're bleeding us dry. But like, it's just one thing. You know, like it's a it's a big purchase yeah. and honestly more than i think that you should spend on a hobby but like he clearly like has a, a stable enough income that he can do that if he wants to so i think it's more just about the the like the manipulation and the control than it is about the golf right 
Anyway, we're at 35 minutes. Uh, I'm so mad because I think I know how to get to the flag, but it's... I think the flag is behind the red hole at the very back. Oh. And I need to save a jump to get into, to, to like jump onto the flats to get in there. Because there is no flag here. Yeah. But there has to be in order to win. Do you think maybe it like drops you down to a second level like mini golf? No. Okay. Because it's never, it hasn't done that and this is the last level. So I'd be really surprised and somewhat pissed that it's like, hey, there's this new feature that we just added like <laughs> in the last level. Because if I jump into... Because I have to jump into the pink one. And I have to jump out of this... So I the, the amount of jumps that I have to do are out of here once. And then I have to jump onto the conveyor belt once. So if I jump, I have to jump out of here. And then I have to go up this and then I have to jump up here with one of these and there's no way I can get across without using two like I have to hit once here and then I have to jump up again and then I have to use a two but then I'm back to my say I've done this like three times now because then the last thing I do, I got, I got this, which takes me all the way there. I have this. And if I do that, that doesn't help me. Christ! I thought I could do it. I thought I was getting somewhere. Well, maybe we'll have to come back to see if you can, if you can finish the game. All right, you know what? I, ugh, damn it, this is so unsatisfying. I wish I, I wish I saw it, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, look it up and be, and be a, be a coward. Come back next time when we play this game again. Someday. Someday. Um, for right, last try. Right, la last, last try. try. Last, last try. Last try. Um, uh, 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 there. Okay. Um, no. Okay, so, um, we're gonna go, uh, is there a way to get to the middle here? No. If I jump out, can't go that. So I got, that's the only way, like, it's the only way I got to. Um, the only way I can get out of here is with a two. Okay. I don't want to go that way, so I gotta go this way. It's gotta be this way. Now here's okay. So I could use a one. I can't use a one. I could use this. I could use this. If I use that, nope. Okay, don't do that. Uh, so it has to be this. Mm -hmm. Blam. Mm -hmm. But I'm at the same fucking spot where it becomes like, well, now what? Now what do I use? I I have to use, unless I have to bounce off the back of these. Unless I have to use like a a one to jump up and down, like bam, bam. Okay, so that that gets me there. That gets me there, and that'll just get me there. So it has to be has to be one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! That's what I had to do. And then... Is it the no. Please. Please. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. You did it! Oh my Christmas. Wow. 
What a, Holy what a way to end. Holy shit. This is truly the finale of uh Wow. World Peace. Congratulations. World complete Connor. game complete. Game complete and we get the credits. Wow, thank you Afterburn. Thank you Afterburn. Um Thank you Camilla Rusieka. Thank you Macy H. Wierski. Veronica Grabowska. These don't sound like real names. Ver Veronica is a pretty cool name. Veronica. Peter. We got German, French, German, Norwegian, Latin, French, Japanese. Natsumi. Roboto translations. Oh, Wim Wolf, Wim Wolf is Dutch. Of course it is. The silliest Wim. fucking language. Oh, Testers. yeah, hello, I am Wim Wolf. Okay. Would it be Wim Wolf? <laughs> It probably is Vim Wolf. Vim Wolf. Vim Wolf pick. Hey, look, Llama worked on this game. Thanks, Llama. Oh, hell yes. My favorite streamer. And NPCCK. NPCKC. Uh, and, and Vim Wolf. Vim Wolf. Zeogold, a.k.a. The, the Puzzle Master. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Puzzle Master. David Cockle. David Cockle! <laughs> <laughs> Siege David. Gortat. Oh, David Cockle. These, these um, cannot be real names. Wow, a lot of Maceage. Ma Maceage. I want to know how to say that name. Nuno Alfonso. Cats. That's fun. Just, okay. Aw. Malenka, Ramona, and Tofis. Tofis? The cats of the, of the video of gamers. Of the developers. Of the developers, I, okay. I assume. Ooh, they used Noto Sans font well. from Google. Uh, seven levels production, programming, additional art, 2019. 1% of residue of our copies will all be donated to Animal Rescue. Aww. Yay, I helped. You helped. Aw, oh, and they made a little heart a, out of the golf piece. And a bonus level? Oh my god. Oh my bonus god. Oh, it's a level. heart. It's a heart that I can play. Aww. Oh. <laughs> what if you fuck up and they're like, no more? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. Too easy. Look at that. You Too did easy. it. Too easy. Well, thanks. And it's like, all right, 11 more levels. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, 121 out of 121. Fun. Yay. Thanks for watching. Uh, wow. I feel so proud of myself. Good job, Connor. <laughs> it, I did not. I think there was a time where I I couldn't do this one. I couldn't do this puzzle for the longest time. Because mm. it's just ice. Oh, <laughs> it's, you have to, like, it's a fucking nightmare. But the fact that I managed to get the, once I was done with that, I did the rest of those. And then I did the last bunch. But these two were really the... Um, the straw that broke the camel's back so you did it we have uh completed them and Great. um thanks for watching we got one more episode, one more episode of gay. gay to go we'll catch you on the flippy dip see you then Bye bye <laughs>